everyone, greetings from Australia. I'm Julia Coddington and I'm one of the speakers at this year's London Street Photography Festival, which is happening soon. The LSPF team have asked me to talk to you about my favorite image, which has been a little difficult because I don't have a favorite image. However, I do have one of my favorite photography books here, a book called Isla by Ernesto Bazan. And it's his third uh, book in the Cuban trilogy. And I'll just talk to you a little bit about that book and about some of the images in that book. Say hi, Jerry. Hi, Jerry. Okay, I would like to show you some of the images from this book now, which are all black and white panoramic images taken with an X-Pan. Ernesto lived in Cuba for many, many years, and so he has a very strong relationship with that place and the people. His images encapsulate the harshness of Cuban life, but also the inner strength and resilience of the people. Now, there's a theme running through this book, a theme of eyes watching, eyes gazing, and you can see the suffering of the people in, in their eyes. This image is one I associate strongly with this book. It's very energetic and full, and it looks as though the kids are playing, but actually they're, they're doing some sort of wrestling exercise. There's a dark quality this, to this image with the clouds lo looming overhead. But probably the most striking thing is the connection of the boy's eyes, the boy's gaze with the photographer and with the viewer. In this image, again, the eyes are ever present and there's almost a sense of evil authority looming over the man. There's an oppressive quality to it and he seems almost squashed down in his chair. This image is quite complex and you have to look at it for a little while to work out what's going on. There are connections, obvious connections here between the cigarettes and the eyes, but also this kind of sense of humor with the people themselves. You think that this, per this person is real, but when you look closely again, it's a, it's a statue and it looks as though she's about to light his cigarette. There's also a sense of mysticism with this eye that is also present in the Cuban culture. And again, the suffering in this woman's eyes, you can see the suffering in her eyes. I love this image because of the, the framing, the division between the two frames. And also the, um, the, the adult, the suffering of the adult and of the kid. This image is quite a simple image, but again, there's a sense of intimacy and story, and you can see the story in the woman's eyes. For me, Ernesto's images are not so much about composition, but more about content and storytelling. And he certainly has a unique ability to capture intimacy, emotion, and soul in his images. Thanks everyone. I hope you enjoyed looking through the book with me and learning a little bit more about Ernesto's work. And I look forward to speaking to you at the London Street Photography Festival in a few weeks. Bye.